Uh, it has been an issue in Nueces County. We're talking about clearing the backlog of criminal cases that began to stack up during the pandemic. So to help the state's Office of Court Administration sent the county some $900,000 to run an auxiliary court. Judge Sandra Watts is heading up that court and she spoke with our Michael Gibson on the progress that's now being made. It's a very limited docket with the idea just push those cases until they get resolved and I'm the pusher. <laughs> Sandra Watts was the 117th district court judge for some 20 years until she was forced to retire from the bench because of her age. Now she's heading up this auxiliary court up on the fifth floor of the courthouse, which is focused on clearing out the backlog of criminal cases in district courts that are at least 100 days old. This is my trial docket for 1212. So the cases, how many days they've been in jail, who are the defense attorneys, what are they, and how many cases I'm probably going to dispose of for each defendant. This case was a typical one that Judge Watts has handled since she started these court proceedings back on October the 3rd. It's the sentencing of Richard Ramon Jr., who was charged with sexual assault of a child. He pled guilty, and the judge gave him seven years behind bars. Watt says she has a rocket docket designed to move old cases like this one at lightning speed. This is how many trials I did, how many pleas I did, how many dismissals, withdrawals, and this is the number of charges that have been disposed of in 60 days. That's 197 charges in two months now off the books and helping to cut down on the number of prisoners in the jail. County Judge Barbara Canales feels that the need for this auxiliary court will certainly be backed up by the stats. It will serve as a way to do a benefit cost analysis so that you can say, hey, is the money spent on the administration of this court worth it? The answer, of course it will be if you move cases. And from the judge's stats, those cases are moving. That's helping to lighten the load for district judges and to send folks like Richard Ramon Jr. to state prison freeing up space in the Nueces County Jail. Michael Gibson, 3 News. Uh, All right, thank you, Michael. And he mentioned the Nueces County Jail. Let's take a look at the current inmate population of the jail. Sheriff J.C. Hooper sharing today that it is at 97% capacity. That's down from our last check, but not by much. That number represents more than 1,100 inmates currently being held in jail. 22 inmates are actually being housed in Aransas County with another 16 in Victoria County.